Hi everyone, Aiden here at The Trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at Rhinorack's line of RTC style roof tracks. These are going to be custom solutions to let you add a roof rack to things like your camper shell or to your truck bed rails in places where you otherwise wouldn't have access to a roof rack. Let's check it out. Now what you're seeing here is a fully assembled system from cross rails to roof rack. And you can find complete kits on our site if that's what you're interested in, or depending on your truck, you might find that piecing it together by individual part number is the best for you. In the case of maybe a short bed truck where most of the kits are geared toward longer beds, or just to match whatever needs you might have. Maybe you've got a long bed truck, but you wanna get a shorter set of rails. Whatever the case may be, today we're looking at just the track. That's the base that you're seeing right here. It's the physical piece that attaches to your mounting surface, in our case, this camper shell. And it allows you to mount up the roof rack components. Now, the ones we're looking at today are 55 inches long from the start of the track to the end. And you can find them in a variety of different lengths on our site, both longer and shorter, to accommodate those different situations you may have, whether it's a long bed truck, or a shorter bed truck. These rails come in pairs and they're made of aluminum, so you don't have to worry about any rust or corrosion over time. It's gonna keep things lightweight. And you'll notice that along the whole track here, you're not seeing any mounting hardware. The way the RTC style tracks are installed is by having a track underneath the rail here. And you're gonna have a series of T-bolts that run in there. You'll drill holes into your camper shell or your bed rails, wherever you choose to install this and drop those threads through the drilled holes and secure them underneath with some hand nuts. Here's a look at what those hand nuts look like and they'll just run the length of your camper shell or truck bed rail. These really aren't too invasive and stick down very little. And your kit's gonna include rubber O-rings and butyl tape squares so that the holes that we do drill remain sealed from any outside elements getting in. Now, because of the way it mounts up, having to drill all the holes out and make sure that they're all perfectly in line with where that track will be, it does require a little bit more measuring and double checking during the install process. Overall, it's not too bad. You can check out our installation video if you wanna see how we did it, but it can add a little bit of time and complexity to the install as opposed to a set of tracks that just had holes that were visible from the top. Whenever you set this down on your mounting surface and got it squared and parallel with the other one, you could just look down, make some sort of mark and know exactly where to drill. If that is a more appealing process for you, you can check out the RT style tracks from Rhino Rack. Those will rivet into your mounting surface and if riveting isn't something you're looking to do, I'd recommend checking out the Yakima track system, which will mount up in a very similar way with the hand nuts underneath. Only that time there's going to be those open holes where it's a little bit easier to see. And I've installed both. I prefer the Yakima system, but I wouldn't say that this one is bad. The finished product that you're left with, I'd say is the exact same, whether you go with Yakima or Rhino Rack on the RTC style here. It's really just down to the install process, whether you want the slightly more involved process with the completely clean and finished look up top, or if you don't mind having that hardware visible on the top for an easier install. And the only other thing you may be wondering about is weight capacity. There's a lot of different variables here. No specific capacity is listed for these tracks because it's gonna vary depending on the surface you're mounting to. You know, going to the bed rails of your truck, will have a different level of strength than the fiberglass camper shell that we have today. The other thing to keep in mind is what kind of roof rack system you're using on it because for us, we're using Rhino Rack's Aero Bars. These Vortex Bars have a slightly lower weight rating than the option of Rhino Rack's Heavy Duty Bars. Both could be compatible with this track system. It just depends on what you're using it for and based on what you're using, your weight capacities will change. So just look at your whole system once you have it pieced together or you pick out the kit for you 
and always go by the lowest rated component, whether it ends up being your mounting surface or the crossbars. But if this is a system that interested you for your own vehicle, there's a ton of different ways you could mount this up from bed rails to camper shell or even your roof if you wanted to. If you've got an idea of how to mount it, you can probably make it happen. But just be sure to browse our site, find the right length of these tracks for your application and pick up the appropriate accessories you need to make a complete roof rack system out of it. This is just our look at the line of RTC roof rail tracks. Thanks for watching.